Robert Goddard was born on October 5, 1882 in Massachusetts, and attended the Worcester Polytechnic Institute and graduated with a degree in science. Later, he furthered his education and earned his doctor in physics from Clark University in 1911. Goddard then taught physics at both Clark University and Princeton. In addition, the scientist studied many subjects on his own, such as rocket fuel and launching, and the effects of radio waves on insulators. In order to keep his studies and findings protected, he had his ideas patented so other scientists could not use his hypotheses for their personal gain. In total, he earned 214 patents that were majorly focused on rocket apparatuses and flight. Later, he helped design a tube-fired, bazooka-like rocket for military use during World War I. In 1924, he married Esther Christine Kisk, a secretary at Clark University, and she aided him in his work and experiments. Goddard continued to hold experiments and publish articles on his findings and hypotheses of rockets and their ability to fly. The articles were heavily criticized. However, by 1926, he invented the first liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn, Massachusetts. It traveled a total of 184 feet and rose 41 feet in two and a half seconds. Three years later, he built an 11-foot rocket that launched with an attached camera and barometer. His successful rocket launches were noticed by famous aviator Charles Lindbergh, who connected him to pilot Daniel Guggenheim, who agreed to fund Goddard's research for the next few years. By 1935, his rocket reached a height of 4,800 feet at 550 miles per hour. Later, Goddard worked on his K and L series rockets that were able to reach higher altitudes, and his P series used propellant turbo pumps and liquid oxygen to fly. During World War II, the United States Navy assigned him to develop jet-assisted takeoff rockets. He continued to work diligently for the Navy until he died in 1945. In memory of Robert Goddard, NASA dedicated the Goddard Space Flight Center to the brilliant scientist in his honor.